aking kitchen. Kitchen ni Inde Josa. So, gawa po tayo ng um, gawa ko ng burrito. And wala akong wrapper. Hmm. Maganda, di ba? So, gagawa po tayo ng homemade burrito wrapper. And let's get started. So, ayun po. Umpisa tayo. Meron ako dito harina, salt, baking powder, butter, and water. Yung mga sukat po niyan, this is a proper one. Mga sukat niyan, ilalagay ko po sa description sa baba. Just check it if you want to try this homemade burrito wrapper. Okay. Ayan po, mag-start tayo sa flour. powder and salt and butter So, kung meron po kayong pastry cutter, mas madali po yung gamitin. I-cut cut lang po natin yung um, butter dyan. But since wala ako, so I will use my hands. I'll wash my hands and I'll come back. So, ayan po. I-mix lang natin siya. Just make sure you wash your hands. It's okay. Don't touch uh, all the ingredients inside. As long as you are sure you wash your hands. Minsan ginagawa ko to kasama yung alaga ko. Part of being nanny. Kailangan i- um, make it sure na nag enjoy din yung mga alaga mo kasama ka. So yun. So yun share ko to paggagawa ng mga ganito with the, with the kids. And tuwan-tuwa naman sila. Kasi, alam mo yun, mga bata parang maglalaro ng yung play-doh. <laughs> so, yun. Kahit na hindi na... Ngayon, medyo hindi na masyado kasi medyo grown up na sila mga teenagers na. Pero nung dumating ako dito, um, they were just like 6-7 years old. So, they really enjoyed staying in the kitchen with me. It's double purpose yun eh. Nagagawa ko yung trabaho ko sa kitchen, yung pagluluto, pag-prepare ng pagkaya. At the same time, nababantayan ko sila. Diba? Double purpose yun. And, actually, actually multiple purposes. Because, na-enjoy ko rin yung trabaho ko as a nanny. Diba? And nagagawa ko yung, yung um, love ko sa trabaho sa, sa kitchen. <laughs> So, ayan. Ayan na po. Makikita nyo, ayan. para na siyang mais-mais yung buto niya. So, okay na po yan. We mixed well already. All the four ingredients. Butter, baking powder, salt, and what else we put? Ayan, that's it. And then now, it's ready to put the liquid in. So, para hindi po mabigla. Let's put our water. I'm using cold water, by the way. Cold water. Okay? So, para hindi po mabigla yung ating flour mixture. Kasi baka maging masyadong soggy. Yung masyadong basa. So, one table at a time. One table. One table. <laughs> one table. So, yeah. Mix, mix. Of course, one table. 
one spoon is not enough. So, another one tablespoon. Hanggang sa mabuo na po natin yung dough or dough na uh, kailangan natin para sa ating burrito wrapper. So, yun. Ayan. Mix-mix lang po. Yung sukat po ng ingredients, nalagay po dyan, as I said, dyan sa description mamaya, sa baba, pwede nyo pong i-check para matry nyo kung sakasakaling tulad ko rin, wala kayong yung ready to go, <laughs> ready to go food na uh, burrito wrapper. Meron din akong yung rose Meron po yung ano, medyo may difference na siya ng konti. Pero, palagi ko ang gabi ko yung video ng um, spring rose wrapper. Pero, I'm not sure if I put the exact recipe. So, maybe in the next few videos, if ever needed, ulitin ko po yun, yung proseso na yun para sa spring rose wrapper. And then, I will put the exact recipe measurements so you can also try. It's very easy. It's very, it was very easy and fun to do. So, ayan. So, ito na po siya. Hindi mo kailangan ng sobrang daming water <laughs> kasi baka maging sobrang ano um, basa yung dough, hindi siya magiging dough. This, medyo nagbibiak-biak pa siya, so medyo lagyan ko pa siya. No? Pag, tandaan po, pang naglalagay tayo ng liquid, yung sa flour mixture, kailangan 1 tablespoon, 1 tablespoon at a time, para matansya po natin. So, yun, kung halimbawa naman, napasobra ka, feeling mo, Sobra yung liquid dun sa flour mixture. It's okay. Magdagdag ka lang na konting flour. Again, sometimes dagdag bawas is good. <laughs> Especially when you're in the kitchen. Improve. I'll improve something because kailangan mong gumawa ng solusyon para hindi masayang yung ingredients na nailagay mo na. Diba? So this one, I will put a little bit of Flour. Kasi mukhang napasobra nga siya. Tulad na sinasabi ko. Diba? Ang galing-galing ko. Hindi po ako expert. Hindi ako pro. Mahilig lang talaga akong magkikilos sa kusina. <laughs> Kaya siguro nung nalapad na ako, diba? <laughs> The texture is really nice. Okay. So, yan. As long as uh, you feel that you mixed well all the ingredients, that's it. So, we leave it for 20 to 30 minutes. Let it rest. And I'm gonna clean, clean up now here because I will need the surface para i roll out yan. And para maging ready na siya for. second part of making the burrito or yeah burrito wrapper okay okay ito na siya nagre-dress yung ating dough dyan sa ilalim ng mahiwag ang towel here you go okay so nakapag-rest na siya 30 minutes 35 minutes and then Kailangan natin ng floured surface. Okay, again, don't worry about my hands. I wash it very well. Don't worry. <laughs> so, ayun. Ito na yung dough. Dough natin para sa ating burrito. So, i-roll lang natin siya dyan. Roll, roll lang. Itong part na to, nai-enjoy talaga to ng mga bata eh. <laughs> Tsaka yung mga young at hearts. 
just like me. <laughs> Yun. Huwag naman isip bata. Young at hearts na lang. Or to chill to chill naman konti. Diba? So, vlog with your surface. Your surface. And then, here you go. Laro, laro lang tayo. Laro, laro lang tayo. Mm, pahabain mo siya ng konti. Pahabain mo pa siya ng konti. <laughs> so, ayan. After mo siyang marol, try to make it. Try to make it even. Pantay. So, divide natin siya sa gitna. And then, divide with it sa gitna. Itong first half. And then, the other half with it sa gitna. Until you make it very simple and equal. So, for this, I can make 8 burrito wrappers. Then, ito. Isa pa to sa mga nai-enjoy na mga isip pa. Ay! <laughs> Nadulas ako. <laughs> Hindi yung isip pa. <laughs> Young at hearts. At saka mga bata. Eksakto mga bata. Okay, so, bilog-bilog lang. Bilog-bilog lang. Yan. Bilog-bilog lang to. Okay, so, ilagay natin siya dito. Kasi kailangan natin yung ating space pag kailangan na natin i-spread yung yung ating wrapper, I mean yung dough para sa wrapper. Yun. So, ayan. Bilog-bilog lang. <laughs> Enjoy the bilog-bilog. Ayun. So, tapos na po tayo magbilog-bilog. Ayan. Eight na bilog-bilog. <laughs> so, ayan. Flour surface again. Then, hmm. Let's put it there. Okay. And then, just roll it out. Simple and easy. Try to make it even as much as you can. Ganun lang po siya kasimple yung gawin yung ating burrito burrito dough I mean wrapper, sorry karba tao lang, nagkakamali tao to believe it or not ganyan lang po siya Kung gusto nyo mas medyo malaki, siguro divide nyo lang siya maybe 6, 6 um, pieces lang ng yung round round na gano'n. So, ayan. Mm. Hachi. <laughs> Kasama talaga yun. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to make it even. Okay, so ganyan po yung proseso niya. Gagawin ko na po yan lahat and then we'll go next to the next process. Ayan. We will proceed to our next um, process of making this homemade burrito wrapper. And of course, kailangan din yan ng cheese and ketchup. Ketchup lang. Pwede nyo lagyan ng... Um, kasi yung alaga ko gusto niya ketchup lang eh. Pero pwede pong um, garlic sauce. Next time, I will make garlic sauce and I will uh, share you also. Share with you also. And then, maybe mayonnaise. Most probably, it's gonna be the same process. Just you put... You add more. You add... Um, garlic on it. So, garlic sauce will work for that. And, um, tahina sauce as well. It will, uh, it will be nice also, but make it thicker. And, of course, those sauce, white sauce, are nice with chicken. But with beef, I think, na um, ketchup will be nicer. And then, also, mustard. Mixture of mustard and, um, mayonnaise will be nice also. 
So it depends on you what sauce you want to put in your sandwich. So basically, this is a sandwich. It's like a shawarma. But they call it burrito because they roll it in this burrito wrapper. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay, let's proceed. I will, will, will. I'll take this stand for you to see how to do okay. So, simply lang po siya. Maiit na po yung pan natin. As usual, umuusok na naman siya. And ito po ay non-stick pan. Wala po siyang mantika. But if you want to spray a bit of oil, okay lang din. So, yeah. Let's put it there. See? And maybe just keep it for a couple of minutes. And then flip. But make sure... You're gonna be very careful when you try to flip it because the pan is really hot. And let's flip the first one. Oh, this looks good. But actually, this is small for burrito. So we're gonna have a size of tortillas in this burrito. Yeah, so um, kung gusto niyo pong mas malaki, of course, lakihan niyo lang yung, ano, yung division ng, ng binilog-bilog natin. Siguro yung total mixture na to ng recipe ko, it will be nice if you make it four only. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like very big burrito. But for this now, this is nice. I mean, this is the smallest portion that you can make. Okay. Two minutes and we're done. Makikita niyo naman po siya eh kung ano, kung luto na siya. Kasi ito yellowish yung kulay niya. Ano kung nakikita niyo ba? Yan. And then of course magiging much lighter na siya. And of course yung tidbits na ganun, yung medyo brown brown. Yan, nag-indicate na luto na siya. And actually, hindi na siyang masunog. Pero, pag bumili kayo ng, ng burrito wrapper, it's actually like that. It looks like that. So, yeah, I think this one is nice. So, I think. Here you go. And let's proceed for the next one. I tried my best. I really tried my best na maging circle yung shape ng ating burrito wrapper. But, my best wasn't good enough. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's not a perfect circle. See? Especially this one. It looks like a rectangular. It's a rectangular. <laughs> Pero okay na yan. Kasi, yung rectangular na yan. The most special um, burrito na magagawa niyan is based on the lasa! Of course! Yung lasa! Mm. So that's it! I will show you the finished product after this. Of course, because you know, I need to rush now because you, as you can see, I have a lot to do. Oh my god, look. As usual, I need to clean up every single corner of the kitchen <laughs> yan ang buhay ni Inday okay thank you po again sa pagtsatsaga <laughs> i hope na i-enjoy niyo naman ang bawat video na aking ina-upload and kung may mga comments po kayo i really appreciate uh, every comments na may bibigay niyo para ma-improve yung aking mga nalalaman and kung ano man yung mga pwede natin i-discuss in my future videos, please just, if you have ideas, just put in the comment box. And I'm very, very um, sure na in my future videos, we will discuss every single one of that. I hope I can. So, that's it for now. And... Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye until next video.